here's the mixture. I've got, uh, it's all metallic paint. So I've got red, silver, gold, white, and black. A little bit of black. Um, here it is. This is the first pour. I may need to do another one dependent upon how this one comes out. So uh, let's take a look, see, shall we? So I kind of wanted to go over the hands a little bit, but hence the reason why I'm going to have to do two pours. Okay. All right, let me get a second pour on here. Okay, so for my second pour, I added the paints um, in a different <clears throat> different um, step. So let's see how this pour comes out. And again, I want to get it over the hands too. Oh, that's looking really cool. I don't want to tilt too much, it's going to end up being really muddy. So it looks like I may need a third pour. Just to get all those areas where I missed. Next time I need to add more red. I like the red, almost like a, a devil. I need to get that kind of cross. <laughs> okay, so one more pour, guys. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, I like that. Make sure I get all the spots covered. I also added mica powder to this, so kind of curious on how that's going to look. I kind of want it to look like it's coming out of the canvas, but that's, that's going to be difficult with the both sides and the hands. Getting it up over the hands seems to be the... But I like that right there. That's still gonna move.
make sure I cover all the areas. Well, definitely is busy. <laughs> Let me give you some close-ups here. Guys, if you could see this in the sun, oh my goodness, the mica powder, oh, it's just so shiny and it's just gorgeous. All right, let me show you some close-ups here. And I don't know if you can get the shiny part. Does look really cool. I'll have to get it out of the sun. I can't have it dry out here. It'll dry too fast, and and that'll give you the the cracking. the side view right there that's really cool let's see the other side mm. and that's cool too can you see the hands yeah I guess you can okay I think we're done <laughs>